that's it. Off goes the weasel. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's it, man. I don't want to get uh, booted hey. from the... <laughs> Welcome to the Beer Coasters Podcast. This is a weekly podcast, uh, and we're also a uh, self-absorbed beer show. Completely. Totally. Totally. Devoted to bringing you the best in mostly American craft and, beer. And, and worse. In the worst. It's true. Uh, the best and worst, and yes, and mostly American craft beer from coast to coast, and every once in a while in between. This week we are sk skipping over the pond, and we're going somewhere in Europe or something. Netherlands. The Netherlands, and we're trying some more weasel poop yep. beers. It's our weasel shit show, folks. This is back-to-back -back tastings on YouTube. I hope you enjoy and it. And Dave is uh, <laughs> sticking his... What the hell is he the doing? Air? I don't know. He's twerking or something. <laughs> it's the weasel twerk. I guess that was he was assuming the weasel ship position. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so I we did I will try not it. be trying this this uh, beer that we're doing here on YouTube. So I'm going to throw it to Beer Coaster Mike. Oh, this is Beer Coaster Toby in Las Vegas, by the way. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Toby. How you doing? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey. What's up? Who else, who is, else is with me? I'm, this I'm is crazy. Beer Coaster. Uh, hey, go ahead. This Mike. is Beer Coaster Mike in Boston, Massachusetts. And Man, we're really messing this one up. This is what happens We've when you drink a 750 of a poop beer already. and then you come and drink another one. Well, I'm Crazy Dave. I'm from Temecula, California. So yes, we hit, we had um, uh, quite a bit of um, our already. other beer that we tried earlier, uh, which you could check out as well. It's the Ale Smith uh, Speedway Stout with a Kopi Loek co coffee. And the beer that we're actually going to be trying right now also has, oddly enough, Kopi, Kopi Loek, Loek coffee. coffee. <clears throat> this is the uh, Demolens Kopi Loek. And these guys are Dutch. <clears throat> yeah. This brewery's out of the Netherlands. <clears throat> the ABV on this beer is, wow, 11.2. 11 11 Bad air. They don't mess around. Yeah, I know. Those people up in the Netherlands got to get some drink <clears> on. <throat> I chose this one uh, because we, we were actually going to do the Ale Smith one uh, before this, and someone said <clears throat> that this was more like a brown ale, and would be more uh, uh, more predom have more predominant of uh, coffee flavors of the the Kopi Luwak. Um, I'm reading on the website; it says it's an imperial stout, so I'm hoping that it's more of a um, a European uh, European uh, style of uh, imperial, imperial and not an American version of imperial. And would would make more sense of why someone would think that this was a brown ale, and why someone would mistake a brown ale for an imperial stout. I have no idea. I don't know, but the website on their webs oh their website by the way is uh, Browery G De Molen, not Netherlands. Uh, it only says it's nine and a half percent, but the bottle here is showing eleven and a half. So yeah, yeah, the bottle, yeah, the label says uh, eleven and a half, and the nine and a half, and we're wondering. <laughs> If this is some kind of European measurement of uh, of uh, the ABV, well, I don't know. Alcohol that's, by volume, that's, that's, that's a the big same thing. difference there. Yeah. You know, also on this it says here, enjoy within five years. I my my date. What's the date on yours, Mike? Um, you know what? Um, as most of you people know that listen, know that I'm kind of tasting in the dark here, so I cannot find on the back. It's right on the back. Tasting like, in the dark. Uh, on the back, there's a number. Like mine, uh, at the uh, bottom uh, on the back uh, label. Uh, April 18th, 2012. Oh, I got the same date. All right, there you go. All right. 
Cool. Shelton Brothers. Shout out to Shelton Brothers. What up? So we've had this. Be, this beer's actually ass. this beer's actually sat for a while. It's 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 got a year of age on it. On the bottle, it does say they can age it for five years, keep cool and dark. Recommended drinking temperatures ten degrees Celsius. Uh, this was made with water. Pale. <laughs> it was made with water, pale brown cara, roasted barley water? malts. Water. English water. They put water in this. Like they put water in beer. Like like the fuck are these Netherlands people doing? Was it brackish? <laughs> I don't know what's going. On. Malt porter. What the hell is happening up there? Um, he's and it's not, got. No, malt he's in porters Sweden. in Sweden. He's not aren't in the they close? Netherlands. They're close, aren't they? <laughs> well, closer than we are to them, but no, they're not close. <laughs> Shows you, show, shows you folks what Americans really know about geography, right? Uh, well, um, at least one beer coaster. <laughs> yeah, Scandinavia, the whole, you know, Scandinavia. Is it's all, it's probably the, the Netherlands. it's probably not even the size of California, right? No, it's definitely not the size of California. All right. Let's can um, we crack this beer. You know, it also has a uh, premiant uh, bittering hops, copulate coffee, top fermenting. So, yeah, let's bust this open and check it out. Should we should we talk about that Kopi Luwak coffee again for this, yeah. this show? Kopi Luwak, or Civic Coffee, is the most expensive coffee in the world. The high price is not because of the rareness of the coffee berries themselves, but because of the special production process. The coffee berries are eaten by a Luwak, a civet cat. The beans, however, are not digested <clears throat> by the Luwak and therefore cannot be found, can be found in their poo. The beans are washed and slightly roasted. The whole process of eating, poo, find the poo, treat the berries is very time-consuming. This is, of course, reflected in the price of the coffee. Real coffee connoisseurs highly appreciate this coffee, and so does br the Brewery de Molin. What do they do with it? They use it in the production process of brewing the beer. Our Kopi Luwak is an imperial stout with incredible coffee flavors, roasted and bitter like an espresso. Yeah, yeah. Well, Whoa. Whoa. on the pour, <clears throat> super uh, dark. A ton of I head. got uh, half glass, half head. I got way too much head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> to clarify, just so people don't think that we're ignorant to this stuff, we know that is not a cat or a weasel. That shits this. Uh, it's a civet. Okay, it's an Asian palm civet. We understand that, and and we are telling you that now. How do so the you don't what do the Asians call it? And say that we're idiots. They that call we it don't know that, that we're eating cat shit coffee. No, we know that Weasel it's food. not a cat. It's it's related to the mongoose. Damn, Mike. Wow. Why are you so ornery, Mike? Jeez. You have to listen to the rest of the show to find out. I guess so. we gotta got to check out the other show. Wait, I'll tell you. Wait till we get to Jeez. Backwash this week. You wait. You wait. I, got, I still have a ton of head. <laughs> I mean, this this pours out, I by the way, it, it pours out dark. Mm. Uh, it's it's a black. It's There's a, bra a slight brownish red highlight at the very, very bottom, if you can see it. The... Aroma on this for me is completely different than the Ale Smith. It's it's got kind of a fresh Fruity. vegetable. Yeah, it's like a, like a um, kind of aroma <clears throat> to it. Like a pepper, like a red pepper kind of. Yeah, it, seriously. Yeah, like a fresh pepper. Hmm. And that's going through a whole. Yeah, like a bell. It's like got a bell four, pepper kind of aroma to it. That's three full fingers ahead, by the way, folks. Look at that. Yeah, I got. Well, maybe I got a figure Three. now, but I had a whole heck of a lot before. <clears throat> Yeti pinky, I guess. I'm hoping I can get the whole bottle into the glass here without. Uh, it's almost got an of... irony kind of a uh, of a smell too, almost like a meat. Mm. Really? I'm not getting. That. I don't know. Like I said, I I got a bunch of head kind here. Of I got a... <clears throat> well, why don't you go ahead and why don't you go ahead and take a sip there, and I'll uh I'll well I I, 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 I kind of have to work past this head a little bit, so I was gonna see if I can pinpoint anything else in the aroma. Mm. Huh. 
I am getting a little bit of coffee now coming through. I like fresh kind of coffee grounds. God, man, I'm not getting any of that yet. <clears throat> no, by the way, on the bottle, EBCs are 256 and EBUs are 25. Because the Europeans have to have a different bitterness yeah, unit. Yeah, their own, their own way of doing things. Yes, I just rolled my eyes, okay? <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I'm I going to just mustache filter this. All right, I guess I'll take a sip. Mm. Mm. Wow, this is very coffee forward. Um, wow. Not not so much Co mm. big coffee. Yeah, I mean, coffee this, has this a, is a bitterness and, and a um, dryness to it. A, a really it dryness to it. Dries right up. Um, there's absolutely no aftertaste. You, I mean, you have a little bit of that coffee flavor on the tongue, but it's it's gone. Like you want to take another sip, hmm. and I will. Got a real good strong vanilla note too on it now. Yeah, this is like this is like like <clears throat> iced coffee almost. It it's a lot like iced coffee actually. Yeah, it's kind of like a prickly. Is it like iced a coffee? Frappuccino? Vanilla. Frappuccino. More like a, a crappuccino. <laughs> Whoa! Did somebody say frappuccino? <laughs> I am the great coffee lover. <laughs> wow. We had two viewers, and now we're back down to one. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, now we're down to zero. Yeah, there is that, that kind of spicy... Spicy kind of... The pepperiness is still there. Veggie peppery Yes. Mm. Big. Big coffee flavor. I'm actually getting more coffee... From this beer, than I did with the Ale Smith. Yeah, you know, with the, with the with the Speedway Stout, it was it was much more creamier. Um, it was creamy and had more of the uh, the chocolatey roastiness from. Not that there isn't a really big coffee roast in this beer, but it didn't have that same kind of uh, um, you know Speedway Stout kind of roasted roastiness coming through. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is definitely this is definitely much more dry, much yeah, more very dry. The co but coffee forward. Any, I mean, hoppiness. I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's bitter, but I'm I'm thinking it's bitter from the coffee and it dries up. But I wouldn't be able to tell tell you what kind of hoppy, you know, hoppiness is coming out of this. I can't get over that pepperiness of this. Mm, like a roasted red pepper. Man, you know. Yeah, it is. It's got a weird kind of. Yeah, it's like vegetables, fresh vegetables. <laughs> it's kind of odd. God, you know what it kind of makes me want to have is a um, is a uh, like a roast beef sandwich with avocado <laughs> and alfalfa sprouts. All right, I can see, I can see the roast beef for sure. Like a really kind of uh, uh, maybe even like a French dip kind of roast beef. Um, I I could go for with yeah. something like this. Um. Really interesting. Mm. Amazing how different this is from the the Alesmith uh, Speedway Stout. But they, this... I'll, I'll also say that as, as far as this beer being from the Netherlands, this, this is pretty big. It's pretty this, it's big. big. It's big in a lot of ways. We, you know that what we've experienced in the past with any beers from um, from Europe, the Netherlands. I would say even from Europe. I mean, this this is this is in your face. I mean, they're they're not holding back here at yeah, all. Yeah, no, this is it's big. It's it's still a bit, very big beer. I mean, I, I and you're saying that there's not much of a hop, but I I get like 
bitterness that's not coffee bitterness. I get okay. a hot bitterness. I, I do get a bitterness, but what I'm saying is, is, is they really put the coffee flavor forward. Like I think they want you to taste what this Kopi Luwak uh, is. The Kopi Luwak coffee is supposed to taste like. Now, have you uh, actually? Uh, I've never had Kopi Luwak. I've, I've no, I haven't had it. Damn um, it. I'm gonna have to go find some Kopi. One of those coffee. things where I definitely have to. Uh, uh, it's on my list. I'm not going to say bucket list because I think it's kind of silly, but um, well, although I just said it, so. But it, it's one of well, those. You can things. just have it on your fuck it list. Yeah. My f- like, <laughs> fuck it. I don't care. It costs yeah, a thousand dollars. What? Well, diesel shit coffee? It. All right. I'll try it. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's um, a very interesting flavor. The, the roast beef, like Dave was saying, was good. I think something that was very kind of a um, salty, um, you know, beefy dish would, would be good with this. Well, you Should know, I um, jump in and give you some ratings? I, uh, I was cool. just about to do them, but if you want to, go ahead. Yeah, hey, I'm still here, guys. What's up, uh, Beer Coaster Toby? Hey, hey, yeah. what's up, guys? What's up, buddy? Hey. How you doing? So the uh, Kopi Loak from Bruges de Molen out of the Neverland, <laughs> Netherlands here on Untapped comes in at a 3.98 out of 1,009 ratings. Any, and uh, the top what's, what's three the... places to drink this on Untapped is the number one place is the Adastrat. It's a highway somewhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> and the number two place yeah. is the SD Tap so Room. For, in don't San drink Diego and County. drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, just pull on over to the rest area. And yeah, it's one out. of the top places to drink this beer on the highway, man. Autostrad actually is in the Netherlands, guys. There you go. Uh, there's a street uh, called Autostrad, so maybe someone's just drinking on the street. Who knows? But yeah. Whatever. Uh, uh, people the, are still place. so drunk when they leave the bar that they don't remember the bar's name. Sorry. They just remember the street they're on. And right. it, it, it hits you as they're walking to Adastrat Street. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or Adastrat. I don't Adastrat. know how you pronounce it. Adastrat. And the number two place is the SD Tap Room in San Diego, California. Nice. The number All three right. place is the Beer Shop in Davis, California. Cool. And there by the go. way, I just got I just got a, another untapped badge. Sky's the limit. You don't always intend to go for beers with double digit ABV, but when you do, you make it count. Cheers to you. Be careful. Ten percent and up can really pack a punch. Nice. Nice. So there you have it, folks. That is the Kopi Loak from Brewery de Molen. Sweet names. And uh, don't forget to go to beercoasterspodcast.com so to listen to the. Listen to the full the show. show. We've got the, uh, the Ale Smith Ailsmith? Speedway Stout with Kopi Luwak coffee. We got some backwash. Well. We got some shit talking. We we got yeah. we got we got some hot topics from from the girls and we, we got we shit got, talking. We got shit drinking. Dude, yeah. we, this this was the whole shit show. It's a right. it's a shit show, shit show for sure. I think we've reached our, our bad language. The sh- yes, the shit uh, limit. So don't limit, forget, don't so. forget to check us out on iTunes and on, on, on and on YouTube. Yeah, and all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Like us, us on comment. Facebook. Check us out on Twitter, Beer Coasters Pod. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. All right. We're coming to Germany soon. We're going to be the Stupid American Beer Show. Coming. <laughs> yeah. Look for us assholes <laughs> on that. <laughs> Stupid American Beer Show. Yes. All right, guys. <laughs> Peace. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. Prost. <laughs>